So in the previous video, I introduced reflecting the line y equals x, and I kind of hinted as to what this graph would really look like. So I thought I'd formalise it by giving its own its own video, um, the honour of having its own video. Um, so let's take a look at this. So we know that. In general, our hyperbolas of the form x squared take away y squared equals 1. The x's and y's have been swapped. So that means it's reflected in the line y equals x. Okay? Now, with that, um, we would have y squared over 1 squared, e sorry, take away x squared over 1 squared equals 1. Okay? Now, what you need to remember is that in the form that we had it before, the asymptotes were y equals plus or minus b over ax. Now, the a is still this one on the left, because remember the x's and y's have been swapped. It, it does, the a hasn't like followed uh, the x, so that's not a now. right? That's a and that's b. So now... The asymptotes are, instead of being b over a times x, they're a over b times x because of the uh, reflection of the y equals x line. So, a over b, 1 over 1. I mean, it's still just plus or minus x, right? But I'm just getting the point that it's going to be the a divided by the b value rather than the b divided by the a value. Okay? So, y equals plus or minus x are the asymptotes for this graph. So let's draw those in. Okay. Right, then if you were then trying to find out where uh, this graph was crossing the x-axis when y is 0, you would come up against the problem of minus x squared equaling 1. So x squared would equal, have to equal minus 1, but you, there's no real solutions to that. Okay, So this curve doesn't cross the x-axis. So when x is 0, we actually get plus or minus 1. So when x is 0... Uh, we get y squared equals 1, so y is plus or minus 1. And so we're going through this point and this point, 1 and minus 1. And so the curve must do this. OK, and so that is a sketch of the curve y squared take away x squared equals 1.